welcome to a new video um so firstly sorry about the reflection in my glasses i i've tried to like i tried to every single angle in this kitchen no matter what i do um there's a reflection so we're just going to deal with it um as you can tell i'm not outside today uh that is because i'm currently sat in my kitchen and my camera is pointed out the window um, oh luke is coming over to say hello um and i am testing out my new camera lens today um so a few weeks uh no when did it it arrived on wednesday not a few weeks ago wednesday i got a new camera lens in the post i was really excited i unboxed the whole thing i filmed it and then i went out to a local uh, nature reserve and i was like i'm gonna t this is gonna be amazing and then i set it all up and then i was a bit like what the hell am i doing <laughs> it's like i forgot how to use a camera um so then i came home after that and I thought I should watch some YouTube videos on how to use this camera lens that I have. Um, so that's what I did. And now I've set it up in my kitchen, pointing at my bird feeder and some hedges and stuff outside. Um, I was gonna set it up outside, uh, but it's raining. So that's why I'm inside. Um, and we're gonna test it out today. And I will include the footage of me unboxing it and what I said last on wednesday when i filmed it um i was i was very ambitious with my like this is going to be amazing and then i didn't know what i was doing um so so now i've watched some videos we're going to try again um and i will sh show you the setup that i've got just behind you guys um and where i'm hoping the birds will land and then we will get started in some bird photography hopefully hello guys and welcome to a new video um as you can tell i'm not outside I'm starting today in my kitchen, um, or our kitchen I should say, and the reason for that is because this morning something very, very exciting arrived in the post, and that is a telephoto um, lens for my camera. Here's my camera. Um, I have never had a telephoto lens before, um, so I don't really know what I'm doing. This I don't know what's going to happen in this video, um, but I got this lens because if you remember a few videos ago, um, and earlier this year, I won a competition with the Wooden Trust um, to hold a photography exhibition and I won some money to do that. And part of that money has gone on to buying this new lens, um, which is very, very exciting because I would not have been able to buy it without them. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the lens in a minute. Um, a few notes. Um, it came in a nice case, which I did not expect. Oh, also, I've already opened the box. Um, mainly because I was, I was, I I checked it, I checked everything, and then I double checked it, and then I triple checked it, and I knew that I wanted this lens for like ages and ages ago, um, but I was still slightly nervous that it wasn't gonna fit in my camera body, um, because it's a it's a Stemma or however you say that lens, and I've got a Canon, um, but it is the Canon fit one, and then but then like I ordered it, and then I started panicking that it wouldn't fit and um, yeah, it kind of, I, but it does fit, so that's good. And that's why I'm making the video. Um, but yeah, that's why I've already opened it. Um, and it's in a case, which I didn't expect it to have a case, but I, it's really great that it does because I'm not sure how I would have carried it without it. Um, also, it doesn't have any instructions. And the reason it doesn't have any instructions is because I got it from like the, um, is it MPB photography? something like that, um, the secondhand photography shop. And um, you know, it gives you like a drop down. You get several choices. You can buy one, a lens like excellent, good, used, condition, blah, blah, blah. And each one comes with different things. Um, and I choose one that didn't come with instructions. And thinking about it, maybe that wasn't the correct choice, but I thought, I'll oh, just learn everything on YouTube. It'll be fine. Um, and I mean, I probably wouldn't have read the instructions even if I did have it. Um, but I chose one that came with a lens hood and like the, it was in excellent condition. I don't know. Um, it wasn't the most expensive one, but it wasn't, well, it's not a, like a, a, there's a condition that's called used. I didn't get that one. I got like excellent condition or whatever. Um, but it doesn't have any instructions. It's basically what I'm saying. And it does have a case though. Also, it does have a lens hood, which I have, none of my other lenses have a lens hood on. I'm not sure why that is, um, because some of them should definitely have come with one, but I just don't have them. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what that does. Um, but basically, in today's video, I've got the... I'm going to take it out. We're going to go to 
I think I'm going to go to a local RSPB reserve because there's like a bird hide there. And even though they might not be the most exciting birds, um, I've never been able to photograph them nicely because my lenses aren't that big. And now we have this one. So now we can, like, I don't know how the pictures are going to turn out today because I've never used it before. But we're going to find out anyway. And so I will switch off now because I've been talking for nearly four, four minutes. Um, and I'll switch around and I'll show you the lens and then we'll get going. Okay, so this is the box it came in. Um, very exciting. This is the case it has. I don't know what this tag is, but we'll just take that off in a minute. Um, and I'll open it and I'll show you guys. Okay, so don't mind the um, world's worst videography. Um, this is why I only take photographs. Uh, but this is the new lens. It is the Systema 150 to 600 meters. Um, I think it's just the normal one. There is also a sports one. And I believe I opted for the normal one when I bought it because it was cheaper. Um, and this bit here is the lens hood. So this comes off and you turn it around um, when you're using it. Um, but I've never used a lens hood before, so that'll be exciting. And yeah, let's take it out and test it out. Okay guys, um, firstly, welcome to my kitchen. Um, this is the setup I currently have going on. And um, as you can, this is the new lens, obviously, and you probably just watched the unboxing, if I've edited this right anyway, you've watched the unboxing thing. Um, it does have a hood. I haven't put that on, mainly because I, I don't know if I need it inside, I don't know. Um, maybe we'll put it on later on. But this is the setup. Um, I got it on my really old tripod that this piece fell off the other day and I had to fix it back on again. Um, but hopefully it's secure enough for now. Um, I do also have my bean bag here because I wasn't sure if this would be too high or not. Um, so maybe we'll try the bean bag in a little while. Um, but if you just look ahead outside, um, you can see the bird feeders um, next to the greenhouse and the birds keep landing on the hedge and the fence and all that. Um, and we're gonna see what happens. slightly higher up than I was before um it's because I am now sat on the kitchen top um I will wash it later um and the good news is the rest of my family is on holiday so they can't tell me not to sit on it um but uh, it is going very very well I I was like I was nervous because I was like what like b-roll am I gonna put on this video um because obviously there's none of me walking around and there's no changing of like location and etc etc um so then i just i decided to try the film um mode on my camera and i uh, and like i've now discovered i can film wildlife um every time i tried to film with my macro lens i don't know what it was maybe it was the different set i don't know what was going on um but it would just go in and out of focus all of the time like no matter what i did it just would not focus on any video ever um, at all so but now now with this one we're we're gonna start videoing the wildlife as well as taking pictures of it um i will continue to do photography as the main one though i think um i don't think my video skills are quite good yet um but i have i've currently i've currently i started with um photographing like the birds eating the bird seed etc um, but I then noticed that they were moving closer to this plant here. I don't know what it is. Um, a fennel? Fennel, maybe. Maybe fennel? Um, yellow flowery plant, um, because I noticed there was some landing in it. And so then I thought, that's closer. I might as well, and there, it's more, it's more natural, if that makes sense. Um, so I thought I would try taking pictures of them there. And I am very 
very very happy with this new end like i cannot tell you how excited i am um it is now raining quite a lot but the birds are still appearing so that's good um and i'm glad i set up inside now as well i am going to i'm going to talk about why i chose this lens in a little while but for now i'm going to keep taking pictures and we're going to see oh one more thing i'm not that happy with how my tripod is going at the moment so i might swap to the bean bag because the tripod, I aim at something and then take a picture and then the birds land somewhere else. And by the time I've like moved the whole tripod, because it's really, it's not, it's not the best. It came free with my camera. And I think that tells you all you need to know about the tripod, to be honest with you. Um, it's okay for landscapes, but, <laughs> but moving fast to a new subject is not in its range of capabilities. Um, so, and also I don't know why, and I keep trying to adjust it, but it's not, it's, the camera isn't sitting straight on the tripod. And you know that little thing that like tells you if something's straight, that builders use and stuff. There's meant to be one on the tripod. I can't find it. Um, I thought there was one. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being blind. But the camera is not lined up straight with the tripod and it is starting to drive me slightly crazy because I can see it like the fence is like that in the pictures and I'm like well this is not correct but if I look at it it looks straight um so we might move to the beanbag in a minute but yeah <laughs> Uh, so I just thought I would talk about why I chose to get this lens in particular as my first kind of proper telephoto lens. Um, so it was a number of reasons. Number one was the price of this one. Uh, so this is the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter contemporary. Um, there is a sport one as well, and the sport one is meant to be slightly better for wildlife photography, but it is also more expensive. So that's why I opted for this one. Um, so the price was the first reason, and that is because if you look at telephoto lenses on like the Canon website or even like the secondhand shops, they are expensive, um, like a thousand, thousands of pounds expensive. And this one was, I got it secondhand from MPB. Um, it was 780, about 800 pounds is what I budgeted for it and it was uh, it was less than that and it also came with a case and the hood and all the other pieces um it didn't have instructions in which <laughs> after after last week after trying it um i kind of feel like i should have got the instructions but never mind i did get this for free so i traded instructions for a lens hood so <laughs> that's fun um so the price was the first reason the second reason is because of the autofocus and the focus and it is and at the moment i am very very happy with my purchase um so yeah that's the second reason it is just amazing um i don't i don't really know much i don't i don't talk about the technical side of photography much because i think there's lots of there's lots of better people that do that um and I'm not that concerned by it. I do as much research as necessary and I feel like I know enough but not enough to explain it to other people if that makes sense. Um, and so that was the second reason I got it and the third reason was because it was recommended as a wildlife as a good wildlife photography lens. Um, I watched about it was like a 40 minute YouTube video I'm not sure who it was by I will find it and I'll link it below um, and I watched that and I was like, yes, this is the lens I need. This is the one I'm going to get. And that kind of sealed it for me. Um, the reasons behind me getting a telephoto lens, firstly, because I didn't, I have one that's, I've, it's like a, it came with my camera. Um, 
along with the tripod um, as like a deal. Uh, at this point, the deal, I mean, it was several, it was, must have been a great deal because I got it. Um, but now I know more about photography, I'm like, yeah, this is not a good lens. Um, it's like f up to 300 mm, I want to say. I'm not sure, but it's not, it is not great at all. And I, I don't actually like using it, so I never use it. I use the macro lens for like all my photography. Um, all my previous videos, you can see me and I'm just using a macro lens for like everything. Um, when I did have the little telephoto, but it was rubbish. Um, so yeah, that's, I wanted this one. I wanted it because I wanted to do more bird photography and basically different wildlife species that at the moment I couldn't do because they were too far away basically. And this gives me enough, like length and distance that I can I can sit in my kitchen and I can photograph the birds at the bird table very easily and get good results or good results for somebody who's never used this lens before anyway um, and that's why I got it and so I'm I'm very excited to be able to go to different bird hides and set up my little I do have like a camouflage poncho that I occasionally use, but I couldn't ever use it properly with my macro lens or my other lenses. Um, so now, now we are gonna be we're gonna be sat in that forest all day, um, photographing different things, and I'm very excited for it. And that is why I chose this lens. Um, so if that helps anyone, there you go. Uh, but let's get back to the birds because I think the rain has kind of died off now. changed outfits really quick um it's because it's slightly later in the day since i last filmed something um i got totally caught up with filming basically which is and taking pictures which is why i haven't filmed anything for the vlog um since then i have taken the dog for a walk i got really soaking wet in the rain so i came back and i had a shower and then i had lunch and that's why i'm wearing a different outfit to uh, to what i was wearing earlier in the video um, I have still got my, well I took it down obviously when I went out because I wasn't like, this is my now most precious possession. Um, but I've set it back up again and I'm just filming some more birds and taking some more pictures of the birds. And there is currently, I think it's a house moth, no, house sparrow? Mm, I'm not very good at bird ID, I should probably get the like guide out or something. Um, but there's a little baby one that's being fed by um, like a mum one and I've just been taking pictures of that um, but I think basically I don't really have much to say except for I got totally caught up with filming and taking pictures with my lovely new lens and I, I love it with all my heart um, <laughs> and I think I've got some good photographs for what I would say is good for the first time that I'm properly using it after I watched some videos on how to use it um, and you'll have seen all of those and all the pictures in this video um, the cat is now staring at me for some food that's that's helpful thank you cat um, but I will insert the rest of the footage that I got on here I hope you have enjoyed today's video I know it's been slightly chaotic with me changing like changing days changing outfits blah 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 um, but I hope you've enjoyed today's video and hopefully there will be a lot more cool and interesting videos of different wildlife photographing with my brand new lens here and hopefully eventually we'll get a new tripod that works better than this one. Um, so I will see you all next week and have a good day! Mm -hmm.